time no talk. Um, where have I been? I have been deathly ill. Well, not deathly because I'm alive. Um, I've actually been sick since before Easter, so uh, over three weeks now, like really sick. You can probably still hear it. I'm actually still quite sick, but I'm going to force myself to do this today because it's been so long and I have so many exciting videos that I want to film for you guys. So let's get started. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, which is now down here, I am doing a collective beauty haul. This stuff is from all over the place and I've been gathering it for, well, maybe about five or six weeks now, so quite a while. Uh, there's things from a few different places and there's lots of different variations. So, let me begin with body care, shall we? So the first thing that I picked up is the Garnier Body Intensive 7 Day Repairing Lotion, which looks like this. Um, I've had this before, but they used to have different packaging. It's like a different green. Um, I was in the supermarket. I really needed a moisturizer, and this was all that they had. Um, I like this stuff. It's not my favorite. It's not the best, but I actually do think that perhaps um, they have changed the formula because this actually absorbs into my skin a lot quicker than the old formula. So I'm liking it more than I used to. I haven't used much of this yet, it's still very full. So we'll keep giving it a go and see how we come out at the end. The next product is probably the weirdest thing in this entire haul, but I really wanted to include it because I'm in love with it. It is definitely going to be in my favorites video, and it is the Aloe Heat Lotion by the brand Forever, which it just looks like this. Um, basically what this is, is a heat gel for muscle pain, um, back pain, that sort of thing. I have spoken about this before, but I don't know if everybody knows. I actually have a back injury that I sustained in 2011, and I have a lot of ongoing trouble with that, so I use a lot of different heat gels to really soothe the pain. And this is, hands down, the best product I've ever used for my back. I've tried like all the different gels, all the rubs, all like the pain relief. This stuff is absolutely incredible. It heats up to the point where you kind of almost feel like it's going to burn you, but it doesn't. It just is absolutely amazing. It smells really good. Um, and the funny thing is my friend is actually selling this brand. So this isn't like, she didn't ask me to do this, but um, yeah, my friend is selling this brand and I love this stuff. Like I seriously want to order more. I know that she's had a lot of luck with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave her page linked down below and check out their products. It's um, very health based stuff and I'm really interested in trying a lot of their products. So yeah, her link will be down below. And hi Emma, if you're watching this. Um, yeah, so let's move on. <laughs> The next product is something that I've tried before and I absolutely loved and I see it all the time and I never picked it up, but I've picked it up finally and it is the Dr. Bronner's Magic Soap 18 in 1 Hemp Peppermint Pure Castile Soap with Organic Oils. And it looks like this, um, I'm sure a lot of you have seen this around, they sell it in like Mecca, I know they sell it in like a lot of uh, stores overseas and they also sell it on ASOS so I actually got mine from ASOS. What this is is it's a very liquidy um, like body wash and it's really pepperminty, it gives you like a tingly feeling. I just, I really love this stuff and I'm really excited to have it because I, I'm not a big lover of um, body wash type products but I really really like this. So I'm really happy to have this. I've only got one face skincare product to show you guys and I just dropped it. It is the La Roche-Posay Effect Le Duo Cream um, Serum Moisturizer. I'm not 100% sure what category this goes into. Um, this is what the packaging and the box looks like. I couldn't actually get it back in the box so that's why it's out. Um, I am loving this stuff. I got this from Priceline. It was $20. $20. It was in their La Roche-Posay discount and it is amazing. Basically what it is is a formula that is for um, correcting imperfections, unclogging pores, removing acne, all that kind of thing. So this, it, oh, it's so good and I'm so happy to have this in my life. Moving on to hair care and there is a very specific reason for why I have had like a reboot in my hair care and it is actually the fact that I have lightened the ends of my hair. I'm not sure how well you guys can tell on camera but this is super awkward. My hair is actually really really much substantially lighter from about here down. Um, it looks a little bit orange because it's very overcast outside and I've got the ISO turned up so I'm a bit brighter, but I promise you it's not orange at all. Um, anyway, so because I've bleached my hair, I've had to change up my hair care routine and I was also really out of um, hair care products because I just was out of them. So let's just show you what I got, shall we? 
The first thing that I picked up was because this was in my mum's shower when I was visiting at Easter and um, I actually really liked it. It smells really good. It is the Schwarzkopf Extra Care Hair Repair Push Up Volume Shampoo and Conditioner and they look like this. They're really cute, like bright green packaging. They smell really good. Um, what I like about these is... Um, they're not stripping products, which is what I tend to find in a lot of uh, a lot of hair care. Really, there's only a few things that I find that aren't terribly stripping. They this is quite moisturizing. This is a conditioner, but it's not weighing your hair down because it is for volume, which I like um, to break up my hair care routine because I tend to use really like heavy products on my hair because it's quite long, and now obviously I've got bleach in it. And the same thing with this, it um. It's really nice on the hair, it adds volume, doesn't strip, so if I want to like um, shampoo my roots, which I don't do often, I do like to use this. They do tend to leave a little bit of residue in your hair, not a whole lot, just maybe a smidgen, so they're not for everyday use, but that's not why I bought them. Um, I bought them to change up my hair care routine because I feel like that's what works best for my hair, using a variation of products for a continual period of time. The next product I picked up is on the other end of the scale as far as hair care and it is for like deep conditioning and for making my hair feel wonderful. It is the Sun Silk Longer and Stronger Co-Creations uh, Conditioner and it looks like this. So this is one of my favourite conditioners of all time and because I can never find this anywhere I picked up two of them. <laughs> so this looks like a really, really large amount of conditioner, but I will go through these really quickly. Um, I've loved this conditioner for a really, really long time. It's an amazing product. It's very nourishing. It puts um, so much moisture back into your ends, but without weighing it down. It looks shiny. It doesn't change color. Um, I just, I really love this stuff and I can never find it in this size. I never buy the like small, uh, I think it's 250ml um, size bottle because it runs out so quickly and it's like six dollars whereas I actually paid six dollars for these so when you can get these on special it's amazing and I can never find them so that's why I have two <laughs> and I love this stuff. The next product that I picked up is the Joico K-Pack Deep Penetrating Reconstructor for Damaged Hair. It looks like this. Um, I am still experiencing this. Basically what it is is a uh, leave-in, not a leave-in, a um, five minute treatment for your hair that is to uh, repair the damage done by anything, dryers, um, heat styling tools and dyeing um, and yeah I really really like it so yeah we'll move on from that. The next product is something I'm very excited about and it is the Tangle Teaser. Ah, I'm so in love with this it's not even funny. Um, I'm sure you all know what this is basically it's a brush there's a, oh, there's a little bit of hair in mine sorry about that. Um, I got the hot pink and blue just because that was what was on there. Um, I am really enjoying this actually I definitely find that I have to um, focus this to get it into my roots because I even though it may I don't know if it looks like it but I have a lot of hair I have very fine individual hairs but I have so much of it it like like I can't even touch my roots like I have to like really work to get to my roots um so with this yeah I do have to wiggle it in but it's helping so much with breakage and damage on the ends of my hair that I'm in love with it so yeah that is my tangle teaser and I'm really excited to own this like I've wanted one of these for so long it's not even funny so the next thing we're going to talk about is nail polish. They're all from the same brand. They're all Essie. Uh, I've been loving Essie lately and the first one that I picked up is the colour Lilacism. Um, it's very hard to see this against like the backdrop. This is basically a very, very pale um, lilac but I feel like it's got really strong undertones of blue and grey to it so it's definitely nothing like um, my Go Ginza or those brighter um, lilac -y colors. This is very deep and really nice and what I like about this is moving into the autumn months this is like a refreshing change on the nails instead of your typical like greys, browns, nudes it's just something a little bit different so I'm really looking forward to wearing this coming into the um, colder months and it's quite cold already so I've been wearing this a lot. The next colour I picked up is kind of on the other end of the scale. This is the colour in Neo Whimsical. There we go. Finally pronounced that right. Um, this is basically a muted um, pink tone, blush pink, dusty pink colour. I don't really know how to explain this. Um, I just thought this was really cute. I've been loving doing like multi pastel nails, so I thought this would work with this. Um, I'm not a huge pink nail wearer, but I thought I needed to add one to my collection. And then this was a good one to start with. 
And the final nail polish I got is actually the oh so famous Bikini Sotini, also from Essie. This is a medium blue pink. There's nothing really um, super special about this color, but it's really, really nice. On, I love it on my toenails for starters, but it's just a really really nice color to brighten up your day again It's not too offensive as far as um, Like wearing a brighter color in the autumn months It sort of gives you that little bit of a pick-me-up while still being quite appropriate But I'm really looking forward to wearing this in summer, so I have it quite a bit early But yeah, I'm really liking this and finally we come to the makeup products I've only got three they're all from Revlon um, the first one is the Revlon color stay for um, combination to oily skin in the color Ivory 110, which looks like this. I'm actually wearing this today. Um, I don't know if I'm really, really late to the bandwagon, but since when did the oily to combination um, version of this come in the ivory color? Because for the longest time, they only had it in the buff, buff chamos um, color, which is what I've always worn. But recently, I've been seeing this, so I had to pick it up. Um, and yeah, I, I enjoy this. I'm so happy that they finally brought out a lighter color because this is much more um, appropriate for my skin tone. It's not exactly right, but because I love this foundation so much, I will buy it always. And the final two products, like I said, also from Revlon, are products that are quite famed at the moment. And they are the Revlon Lacquer and Matte Balm. So I have two of them. The Lacquer Balm that I have is in the color... Do, do, do. Provocateur, maybe? It's, uh, Provocateur Femme Fatale 135, I'm not sure. Basically, this is a um, pink toned red. Um, it's quite a nice color. It's very unusual for me, but I wanted something a little bit on um, the like mid tone red side. I don't often wear mid tone reds, I wear like plums, dark purples, that sort of thing. So I was quite excited to try these. I really do like this formula, I love the smell. Oh, I just love the smell of these. Um, and I'm definitely interested in trying more of these. But moving on to the Matte Balm, which is like, seriously, a holy grail product. I'm obsessed. Like, there is no other way to describe the feeling I have for this product except obsessed. Um, truly, truly an amazing product. This one is in the color unapologetic which is 210 which I know a lot of people talk about um, it's basically a pinky corally red color it's like a weird I really don't know how to explain this color it's definitely like a pinky coral but I feel like you can get red tones out of it in certain lights but yeah love this again the smell Oh, so good. Um, these last all day, which is really amazing because I have a lot of trouble with matte products staying. Um, they don't ball up too badly, which is another product problem I have. And you can sort of just wipe them away a little bit and reapply. It's not too difficult. Um, it doesn't get gloopy or anything like that. And they're so moisturizing for matte products. I'm super obsessed. I'm definitely picking up like the whole line of these because I just want to wear them all the time. So that is it for my haul. Finally, we made it through. I hope you guys are still here at the end. Um, I know I talked a lot, but I picked up a lot of products that I really wanted to share with you guys. Um, if you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and please leave me a comment down below what you think of the Revlon Matte and Lacquer Balms because I'm super obsessed with them. If you're not already subscribed, just hit the subscribe button and you can see more of my face or more of my videos. And yeah, I will talk to you guys all really soon. Bye. Bye guys!